coffee lover I am, um, but you probably don't know about my coffee theory, and it relates to terrorism. Uh, I've had this theory since 9-11, or shortly after 9-11, you know, because I have a thinking mind, so I want to say up front, don't anybody twist this to say that Kevin is racist, a stereotypical individual, no, um, but I think, and uh, so anyway, my coffee theory is this. You know, the, the government and the media want you to believe that the terrorists are well organized and, you know, while you believe that they're operating out of caves like animals. But they're well organized, methodical, and they want you dead. Well, this is what I think. If, if I were a terrorist and I wasn't, um, you know, heavily armed and I, I was working at a disadvantage and I had... Um, the ability to take over stores. I, I would take over convenience stores all across the United States and blend in for many years. And then I would communicate with all those stores so that on the same day and time, as people are rushing off to work and grabbing their coffee from the convenience store, I would time in all 50 states the anthraxing of the coffee. Now, can you imagine the mass casualties if morning coffee was poisoned in some way on one morning? We're talking about bus drivers, truck drivers, uh, just individuals, all suddenly dying at the wheel at 60 or more miles per hour, careening off the highway into God knows what. Fuel tankers, trains, all of it. There's your answer. Listen, it's as simple as that. If somebody was trying to kill you, it, you well, you, you'd be dead by now. But anyway, that's my coffee theory. Much love. Many thanks. And I'll see you. Like to put your body upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers, upon all the apparatus, and you've got to make it stop. And you've got to indicate to the people who run it, to the people who own it, that unless you're free, 